you know what would be interesting, Emma? The Tottenham series. You've seen that on Amazon. I, I have, seen, I haven't I've watched seen, it. I've never watched it. To be honest, I've been a pagan. It's there for me to watch, mm -hmm. but just because it's top now, I'm in Mourinho. I'm yeah, I would advise you, to, I would watch you it. to watch it. to watch it just to see what's like. Exactly. Unless it's behind the scenes. The reason why I bring that up is because I would absolutely love to see a similar show with Manchester United. True. Just to see what Oli does in the change. Jess, can I ask you a question? Go for it, bro. And during the sh sh um, the, that show, you saw many times Mourinho had discussions with. Um, the own what's his name? What's his name again? Oh, Danny Levy. Yeah, 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 and what they were discussing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Football, football. Yeah. Football. Do you it. think Oli got in social has conversations with Ed Woodward like that? Because I don't think Ed Woodward does that. Because that's how I know that Mourinho's in the place where he speaks to people about football. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. remember he said that apart from him when he was at Man United, there's no one up there that you can talk to about football. Mm -hmm. Do you think Ed Woodward? Sit down during the canteen every time they eat. Mm -hmm. and sit down with the manager, say, no. "How do we improve? What can we do?" See that player? Why is he not improving? Why is he not improving? Of why, why is why is proper a bit inconsistent? What can we do to improve him? Do you think we should do this in training? Do you have, do you know what I mean? Because he had these conversations. Um, you talk about contract with Oli that or no? I know he's, he's leaving. Like, but let's just be nice. We want to get rid of him. Everyone, can I ask you a question? Yeah, this might be a random question. Go on, but. Do you believe Ed support Manchester United? Hell no! no. He supports he Barclays Bank. You know, <laughs> he's, he's, his favourite team is the bank. <laughs> True. Yeah. It's a money man. Sponsorship. Anything that goes with money. But like, the reason I ask this, I ain't never seen Oli really, um, Ed showing passion about United. The only thing I've ever seen around Ed and going to Ed logo or something is probably the scarf. Not even the scarf, just, 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 the, the, just, just the mask. That, the mask that, itself that. is the only thing that says Manchester United. Right. I ain't seen him Manchester cake. I used to have our owners of our heads. Go watch football, man. The football team play. Actually got that cake on. But I've never seen Ed. So that's what I asked, is he a Manchester United fan or he does he just work for the club? Let me tell you this. Ed is a businessman. Top business. We're going to talk a about very this good business, man. We're going to talk about this soon, but from the fact that we send lawyers to close potential deals tells me that Ed knows nothing about football. Tells me that the club don't really know what they're doing. Back in the day, we used to have Ferguson flying out to people's parents' houses, trying to get them to sign, telling them, yes, listen, we really want you. Yeah. You're going to play here. Yeah. You're a future prospect. Yes. This is how I see your career going going yes. forward. This is what, this is what, what we want, want to do. Versus now, mm -hmm. here's 100k. You're going to get a goal bonus. You might get an assist bonus. It's all about money. <laughs> uh, guys, I just want to ask you a quick question to answer to me. Um, if you were to get rid of Oli, who would you want? You I'm happy to ask this question because I'm always going to say it's going to be a push. And just you know, push straight away because he's the only guy who's available at the moment. Um, and if he could ask me you, why, I've got a reason why. Why push? We know why. Are you, are you saying push? Six months, he made a difference at Tottenham. Yeah. Or three months, three to six months, different at Tottenham. Uh, so I want to see the same for United. Me, I'm not going to lie. To be honest with you, I'll be very honest with you guys. None of these managers, Hutch, Pep, whatever, can save us. We need Jesus Christ as our as our manager. <laughs> we, no, we need Jesus. That might, we not need be, miracles. that might not be enough. No, even because, Jesus Christ might not be enough because what? when you have a board like the board that we have, mm -hmm. no, that's when that's when you put God up there. Okay, God, yeah, Jesus, God, Jesus, and then, Jesus <laughs> and God. You know what I mean? Isn't it? We that's just need enough. Jesus and God enough. Look. No, oh, we need miracles. It's been seven years since Ferguson left. Mm -hmm. It's still the same drama. Mm -hmm. So I took that agree with you. You no. might have Poch. I'm not gonna lie. Same thing. Jesus will come and bring the light to us from our darkness. Do you remember, we are in darkness right now. Do you remember now. last year mm -hmm. when I said to you guys, yes, that I would love to go at Old Trafford mm -hmm. and pray in the stadium. Bless the stadium. Bless the stadium. Holy water. Holy water. Mm -hmm. Pray. Mm -hmm. Just cause I love this club. Oh. I've been stressing too much this club. Not even that. I will fast in that stadium. stadium. In that stadium. Break fast as well. Break fast. Cry to God. God. We Do will cry help? to God in that stadium. Like God, why are we not we love succeeding? This club. We love this club. Like it's been a very difficult seven years for us. 